Hey again, everyone. Thanks for joining me. It's worth mentioning that it doesn't take a genius to plot and plan against an unsuspecting victim, especially a spouse or a family member where you would least likely expect someone that would plot and plan against you like the narcissist does. Spouses and kids are easy targets and that's why the narc does what they do and they do it best. It doesn't take a genius to do that. People are trusting you. They have, uh, or, or at least a certain amount of trust is, uh, should be uh, considered if you are in a relationship with one of these people. One of these, I use that term loosely, people, these monsters. However, it does take a lot of cerebral horsepower to figure out when it's been done to you. And you may figure out things years and years later that the narcissist did and plotted against you, and it may become clearer and clearer as you go to know that these folks have been, they've been uh, stomping all over your reputation for decades. They have gossiped behind your back, stabbed you behind your back, lied to you, gaslit you, all this little bag of tricks that the narcissist does. It doesn't take a genius to be that. They think that they're so smart because they're the only ones in their little pathetic world. The reason why I'm coming to you today with this is that I think that it's okay to continue the conversations, ongoing conversation. I, I just don't like to get on here and have the channel get stale, or the channel, my channel, everyone has a channel. This is, just, this is a discussion video. And to get on here and discuss with you what's going on. Now, two things happened simultaneously to me when I was having my awakening uh, regarding this kind of behavior. One was in a personal manner starting to notice how, uh, how the narcissist behaved, starting to ferret out their lies and the bullshit that they were feeding me and uh, how they were literally driving me insane. And at the same time that I was noticing that, I was noticing things on a global scale. This is what's getting people deplatformed and thrown off of the internet is talking about these fucking assholes that are in charge of things right now and they're not going to be forever because we're finding out we have found you out they're doing everything that they can do to to stomp the truth out you know their entire mo their their entire behavior is built on lying to you and this shit's it, it's getting way out of hand this is getting to a terrifying level now that the, the narcissist, the psychopaths really are in charge. I know we've been saying that for decades that you know the, the, uh, the, the patients are running the asylum, but they, they genuinely are. These people have no one's best interest but their own at heart. And this, the way that they have help, <laughs> helped they do. They program. That's why it's called programming on television. They have programmed people to behave in these ways that, that destroy themselves and everyone around them. We gotta wake up. We better start waking up to what's going on. This, the time is getting short. It's happening. It's globally. It's happening every, in every single part of this planet. And frankly, I don't I don't know where we would go. This is all we have. You have to fight back, okay? The no contact thing doesn't always work. It just doesn't work. Sometimes you have to fight back. This is one of those times. This is not the time for all of us to just go gray rock and uh, let these, 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 these monsters continue to take over our world. You know, you'd think by now that we wouldn't, you would think by now that we would understand there's enough for everyone on earth many times over and who these people are that think that it is in their right to lie to you, to tear your family apart, to, you know, 
peddle drugs to the kids and crappy the shit you see on television, the people that Ugh, the stuff they produce is just vile nonsense. You think that that uh, we would have had this a handle on this by now, but it just seems to be getting worse and worse. And so, yeah, I'm going to say something about it. You know, when I first decided to to come on and discuss with you all, I had a, I had hit a milestone in my own personal experience, and I thought, okay, I want to share this with the folks, and I think I have something that's a little bit different to say, something that I can add to the to the conversation rather than just repeating everything that I had heard. And, uh, and to the, I still maintain that I've, my take on the narcissist epidemic is it's a little different. I do fight back. I, I just, I'm just not going to sit there and let you take away what's mine and, you know, enslave me. I'm just not, it's not going to happen, you know, but that's what's going on out here in the world by the millions and now billions. And it's getting really scary. It amazes me how many people are not questioning what their governments tell them. Here comes the deplatform. I can feel it. If you guys aren't waking up to this by now, we don't have really much hope left. I don't mean to black pill you, but man, this we have let them get away with so much. Just like you let the narcissist, we let them get away with so much. You know, I'll never forget when I finally started going, nah, nah, fuck this. This is not the way it's going to be. That's when the narcissist went into overdrive, when I stopped giving in to them. Well, if you see what's happening in Australia now, they're not giving in to them. And guess who's kicking it into overdrive? You guessed it, the psychopaths that are in charge. And who, who betrays their country for wherever you're from so that they can... I don't know, is it for money? Is it for power? Is it for both? Is it because you're being blackmailed? Nobody's on our side. No one is on our side. We're the ones that are going to have to, we're going to have to step up and do something about this. What exactly it is, I don't know. The first thing is to realize that we have a worldwide issue with a handful of fucking assholes that are trying to stomp a lot of us out of simply out of existence. I'm beginning to believe that. And uh, and I don't want to come to have a discussion that, you know, that's that, that's so dark and dismal, but they're they're creating this scenario for us. Better wake up. You better wake up. Just like you woke up to your narcissist, you better wake up to the people that are currently influencing your situation because it's only going to get worse if we don't do something about it. So, anyway, not a real happy or cheerful video for you today. Uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, I feel the need to put in my, to put a, my words in on this. I can't believe, I just can't believe it. I really can't believe that it's gotten this bad. Wake up, folks. Okay. All right. Hope to see you all again real soon. Thanks.